Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and I am here with another array based Java programming question. So in this video we are going to learn to find the duplicate from an integer array using brute force mechanism. So actually we have multiple mechanism or algorithm to solve this problem but uh, I want to cover brute force to make you understand some basic concepts while comparing elements in the array or during the iteration. Okay, so this is really simple program and generally it is asked to phrases and with some number some years of experience. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do, let me open a notepad first because I want to want you to understand the logic, what is called brute force and how can we apply the same to find the duplicate from an array. So let me open the notepad. Okay, so suppose we have one simple array like 1, 3, 5 and 7. So of course we don't have any duplicate here but that doesn't matter because we need to have mechanism which can find whether we have or not that doesn't matter. Okay, so suppose we have one array which, con which uh, consists of 1, 3, 5, 7. So to find the duplicate within the brute force so what the simple way what to whatever you can think with the layman logic so what you need to do you need to get the first element okay first index element okay and to compare with the remaining indexes okay means if you um, if you take the zeroth index and uh, the value it contains is one then the this value you need to you need to compare with all the all other values of different indexes to find whether it duplicate or not. For example, if you take one, okay, which is at zeroth index, they to compare with the three, then five and seven, okay, which are uh, present at first index, second index, and third index respectively. Okay, the concept is simple: pick one element and compare with the remaining indexes elements okay so let's try and create the pairs so suppose if we start from the zeroth index so basically it will be zero then one two and three the right? indexes so when you take the zeroth index because we need to start from the first element right first means zeroth index element okay so suppose i need to pick one okay i'm taking the elements i'm not taking the indexes okay one they to compare with three so there will be, this will be one pair correct now what is the second one uh, one and five correct because we need to compare with each element similarly we will have one comma seven okay simple thing we pick the first one okay then we need to compare with the remaining elements right so we should not compare with the same index again because it will be like uh, there's no meaning of that because if we compare with one and one always that will be the same and we cannot mark it as, as duplicate okay so obviously we need to compare with the remaining indexes elements like one three one five one seven okay similarly when you pick for the third uh, second index okay means uh, uh, the three here right so again to compare with the remaining indexes elements okay means how to compare three comma one okay then three comma five not three we need to skip the same index element okay then what we have uh, three comma seven okay and similarly for the last one uh, sorry for the fifth uh, for the second index element means 5 comma 1 okay then we have 5 comma 3 okay then we have 5 comma 7 okay so we are doing only picking the any index element okay means in sequence and then compare with the remaining indexes okay now the last one that equals 7 so uh, 7 comma 1 then 7 comma 3 then 
seven comma five, right? If we have any like suppose if we have any duplicate element, so obviously we will have like three three or five five and will be matching. So what we need to do first thing we don't consider the same index element. That's why we pick if we are taking the zeroth index, then we compare with the first, second, and third index element. Okay. Now this is simple, right? But if you see here in the first iteration, okay, which is for zeroth index, we have one three, one five, one seven. For the second, for the second element, that means first index element called three. So for three, again we are comparing three comma one. right actually if you see this comparison has already happened here okay a like suppose uh, if you consider 1 as a and 3 as b then if you are comparing a or b or b or a okay the result will be same means if whether you compare a with the b or b with the a result will be the same right so in this in this iteration okay it's fine but in second iteration actually this part is redundant or same this part we are doing again okay because this comparison has already happened in the first iteration so can we remove this part then yeah, let's remove okay when you pick the second index second index element it means 5 Okay, so we have five comma one and five comma three. So five comma one already we have compared here, right? Because five comma one or one comma five both are same only, right? So why we are comparing it again? Okay, this was already done in the, in the first index iteration itself. Okay, that's why we need to we should skip this part as well. Okay, five comma three that is also done here. Then why we are doing it again? Because five comma three or three comma five both are same itself, right? So we need to ignore this part as well. Okay, just see the logic here. We are doing the duplicate stuff here. Okay, and when we see the last index element, that means seven. So seven one already we have done here. Okay, seven three. Okay, so that is done here. Seven five. Okay, seven five seven is done here. So why we have again same thing here? Okay, there is no meaning of that. Simply we are repeating ourselves. Okay. So this is the actually valid. When you are applying the brute force in array, so you need to keep this in mind. You need to skip or you need to avoid the duplicate duplicate comparison. Okay, and this is the logic behind brute force. When you apply for the brute force, so in brute force, what happens? You try to pause, try to um, check all the possible cases, and you don't worry about the memory or time complexity, nothing. You are simply trying to find, trying to check all the possible combinations. Okay, so the, in this, you need to be careful. Okay, if you are thinking. to apply the brute force so then also you make, can make it some optimal here okay so here what you need to do if you have if you are comparing with the zeroth index okay then start from the from the next element that means if you are comparing the zeroth element then you need to compare with the 1 2 and 3 but if you are comparing the first index element okay that means 3 here then you need to you then you need to go from the next index element not from the previous one you should not start from the previous one because if you start from the previous indexes it will be duplicate okay that's why if uh, just for example here again if you pick the first uh, zeroth index that means 1 then 1 3 1 5 1 7 when we pick for 3 then don't go for 3 uh, 3 comma 1 that is zeroth index because This is duplicate already covered here. So you need to go for the next one. That means five and seven, three five and three seven. Same thing for five. You need to go for five seven, not for five one and five three. Okay. So this thing you need to keep this in mind, and that's why I explicitly covering this brute force concept in array in this video. Okay.
and even uh, i have seen like the same the same way um, has been explained in multiple blog posts and youtube channel but no one is explaining like why we are starting from the next index element so this is the logic we need to avoid the duplicate comparison in array okay so now we understand the logic it's very really simple and uh, one more thing you need to notice here that uh, when when the interview ask like uh, find the duplicate so you need to also ask whether we will have only one duplicate element or it might be multiple so if you have multiple then you to keep iterating the array but if it is only one because in interview they sometimes sometimes they give you tricky part like find the first duplicate element in the array they, then as soon as you find the first you need to terminate your loop because there is no need to go further okay so now we have the logic we understand the brute force well so we can go and write the java program so let me go to the same java project where i am adding all the java programs okay so let me create a new class and i will give the name as uh, find duplicate in array brute force okay so we'll let me create a main method here third so suppose we have simple one array integer array and i'll give some elements here so let me put 1 3 5 6 okay so yeah we need to iterate it over right so what we need to do you need to do it for loop so start for uh, start one first for loop okay that will be out of for loop and we need to compare all the elements right except the last one right i showed you just i remove all the Uh, comparison for the last element because we are already covering as part of other index other index elements so what to do int i equal to 0 that is the first uh, first index element so zero the index element then i less than array dot length right then i plus plus okay so one thing you can um, the length of array will be 5 here right and the index will be till 4 so anyway it will go to 0 1 2 3 4 you can skip the last part here as well but that auto that will automatically skip in the last last out inner array okay so in the for another for loop because we need to compare with that index element with the other remaining indexes right so here what what i have to do int j j equal to not 0 or 1 okay what we need to do we need to start from i plus 1 that means if we are taking the first index element then to start the comp comparison from the next index element not from the previous one okay or not from the start okay so j equal to i plus 1 okay not 1 plus 1 okay then j less than array dot length okay then j plus plus so it should be semicolon not the colon okay now in we need to simply have one if uh, condition check if array of i equal to Equal to equal to array of j, right? Then print this out. Duplicate element is array of i or j, whatever you can take. okay so here i am not breaking the loop because uh, they uh, this is our program we 
will find all the duplicate elements from the array but you can ask this question to your interviewer whether they want the first only if there is only one duplicate element or they want only the first duplicate element or they if they want into different array that that's also possible okay they might ask you okay uh, i need to i need to find all the duplicate elements do you need to store all the duplicate elements of the array into another array then to print out so that is also possible but the logic will be same you need to apply the same brute force logic here okay so let me run this program and let's see the output so what is the what we expecting here three should be the duplicate element okay so we can see duplicate element is three so let me put another Mm, like suppose we are putting five, so this time we should have two entries, three and five. Okay, we can see three and five. So this is the thing we need to. Uh, in means while applying the brute force also we need to be careful. Okay, and in that brute force also we can make it little optimal. Okay. So. i hope you understand this concept but still if you have any doubt please comment on this video and if you want me to cover any specific java program so please comment that as well on my video or you can send out a mail to me and if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone